Welcome back to Tacoma Report. If you heard the news lately, a different kind of fish surfaced in Puget Sound waters. Seven gill sharks live along the Pacific coastal region, but they are not known to live in Puget Sound waters until recently. A team of agencies are hooking up and getting research done on why the seven gill sharks call our area their new home. Lurking beneath our waters is an apex predator, the seven gill shark that's making international news on its discovery in the South Puget Sound. So we got together a whole bunch of collaborators from Oregon State University, the Department of Fish and Wildlife, and NOAA, and we went out and we decided to see if we could catch these animals. Well, on our first day we caught two, a male and a female, so we realized that there's a population here that had been previously not research-oriented and research-detected. Seven gill sharks are about 10 feet long, weighing in at about 400 pounds. The Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife team are tracking the fish learning about these newcomers. Well, seven gills are not unique to Washington. We have populations in Willapa Bay, but what's unique about them is that they're in South Puget Sound. And we didn't know why they're in South Puget Sound, and we don't really know. But now that we're starting to get some of our tracking data in, we're trying to figure out how they're using South Puget Sound, what they're doing down here, and what they're eating. Seven gills are caught and tracked with high-tech equipment. When researchers hear that hammering sound, it means a shark is nearby. They're in the shallow inlets down in the very south. And we are really unsure why, but some of the anecdotal information is that they're probably following a food source. Researchers are gathering more information and applying it to reasons why seven gills are making a plunge into the Puget Sound. So we know seals are really abundant right now, and these sharks are going to maybe take down those populations a little bit of the weak and the sick and the overabundance of seals. And we know that these sharks also eat other sharks. So they'll eat our spiny dogfish, which are really abundant in Puget Sound, um, but they also may predate on the baby six gill sharks in our, in our area. Another new find to these waters is the taupe shark, which may sound like we're becoming a Puget Sound shark haven. We recently also published a paper saying there's a range extension for taupe sharks. They're also known as soup fins. And this is the first instance of scientific research and verification that these species are in South Puget Sound. The seven gill researchers need these findings to help better understand the health of the Puget Sound. We are still looking at the research, looking at where our tags are showing us where they're going. But it's important to know so that we can manage them, so that we can protect the species that need to be protected and make sure that humans are not damaging their populations if, in fact, climate change is shifting them into this area and these, these are some vulnerable species. 